Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at iOS 13 beta one. So the first feature is dark mode. So dark mode has been long rumored that it was coming to iOS 13. It is finally official today. It is super easy to turn on. All you have to do is go into control center, 3D touch on brightness, and there is a brand new toggle there at the bottom left called appearance. If you tap that, you get a little animation, and now we are in dark mode. So your wallpaper gets darker, your folders get darker, and also your dock gets a little bit darker. And this is system-wide, so all the applications uh, within iOS 13 also get dark, so there's music, there is messages, and there is Safari. So you can see the UI gets a bit darker on the top and bottom there. So I really like dark mode. This looks pretty nice for a first beta, and I really love the look of iOS 13 as a whole. People thought that iOS 13 wasn't gonna get a big redesign, but as you poke around the UI, there are so many elements that have been redesigned. It really feels like a fresh OS. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna turn off dark mode just cause my iPhone is a little bit easier to see when I have dark mode turned off. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off in control center and you can see my wallpaper turns back to what it was before. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at other awesome features in iOS 13. The first one is a keyboard that supports swipe typing. So we'll open up Safari and we'll pull up the keyboard. Now before, if you want to type the word hello, for example, you go H-E-L-L-O, you guys know how to spell. But now all you have to do is a swipe between the keys and it'll put in the word as easily as that. So swipe typing is finally on the stock keyboard on iOS 13. It's been a long time in the making. Uh, so many other keyboards have had this, but I'm really glad it is now a part of the stock iOS keyboard. So since I'm in Safari, I may as well show you the new share sheet as well. So if I pull this up on apple.com, you can see the share sheet looks a little bit different there. Uh, since this is a first beta, you can see that there is a bit of a glitch. There is some dead space right here. So what is supposed to be here is the iPhone is supposed to recognize your habits and it's supposed to know how you share as it picks up your habits and your usage. And it's going to recommend what you might want to do with this share sheet. Now, of course, since this is beta one, uh, it's glitching out a little bit. We don't have that feature available yet, but the share sheet still looks nice. Nevertheless, I like the design of this a lot. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the new music application. So the UI has been changed just a little bit. So the buttons are a little bit more round now. We have a change location of this three dot button. We have a few tweaked icons on the bottom row. Uh, the text on the left hand side is now stacked instead of horizontal. So the title of the song and the artist are now all the way on the left hand side. Uh, so not that many changes in the now playing screen just looks a little bit better, but the lyrics option is now super cool. So if I play this song and tap on lyrics, you can now see live lyrics as the song progresses. So this is super cool. It's going to make it a lot easier to sing along uh, to songs in your music library. There also is a new reminders app. So if we go ahead and open it up here, you can see this. So we have today, scheduled, and all. If I click on today, we now have a button that allows you to add a new reminder. So finally, you don't just have to guess what the UI does. There actually is a button that lets you add a new reminder. Uh, let's, uh, let's try putting in a reminder here. Let's say pick up stuff at 5 or 6 p.m. And you can see there it highlights 6 p.m. in blue. And as soon as you hit done, it will remind you at 6 p.m. So you don't actually have to go into the settings for the reminder to set a time to be reminded at. Since you typed 6 p.m. in the title of the reminder, your iPhone will pick that up and it'll automatically tell you about your reminder at 6 p.m. So super cool. So Messages has a slightly tweaked UI this time. Now I wanna show you some of the features, but whenever I go to send a message to myself, the UI kind of glitches out and it shows every single phone number that's in my contact list. So I'm having a whole bunch of bugs inside Messages in iOS 13. But uh, from the keynote, we have profile pictures now in iOS 13 Messages. So people that you're texting can automatically get your profile picture instead of that contact setting a contact picture for you. So that is pretty cool. You can also share your name and your profile picture with people that you message. So uh, if they don't have your name in their phone, uh, you can choose to share that without them making a contact. There also are a few tweaks in the Photos app. So if I open that up here, you can see that there is a slightly different view on the bottom. So here's all photos. You can also click on days, months, and years. There also is a slightly changed photo editor. So if I go and click on a photo, click on edit, you can see the tools look a little bit different there. I'm not gonna go through all of this in this video. I just want this video to be super quick, but there are a whole bunch of UI changes all throughout iOS 13, and I am really surprised with all the changes they've made in this update. So I'm very impressed. I really love this new photo 
editor and it also applies to video for the first time ever. So you can finally edit videos right in the Photos app on iOS 13. Also one feature I want to throw in here, I can't demo this because I only have one iPhone and one set of AirPods, but apparently when iOS 13 launches in the fall, there's going to be a feature that lets you share audio with another person that has a pair of AirPods. So say you're on a plane or something and you're playing a song and your iPhone is connected to your AirPods and you have a friend sitting next to you who also wants to listen to that song, all you have to do is tap your iPhone near their AirPods and they can now listen to whatever song you're listening to. So your iPhone can now send a stream of audio to multiple pairs of AirPods. And there also is a slightly different animation when you flip the switch on the side of your iPhone to go from ring to vibrate. So if I flip that, you can see there on the top of the phone, it goes from ring to vibrate. And there is kind of a cool animation there at the top when I do that. Also, a long-awaited feature inside Control Center is you can now select Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth networks right from Control Center. So if you go into the pane up here, if you 3D touch on Wi-Fi, you can now select all your different Wi-Fi networks. And if you 3D touch on Bluetooth, you can choose all your Bluetooth devices right from within Control Center. So guys, that was just a really quick first look at iOS 13. Of course, there is so much more in this build and I'm gonna have a comprehensive video showing every feature in iOS 13, but this was just a really quick hands-on first look. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. My name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.